So, Taiko no Tatsujin is, at least in my opinion, one of the most kid-friendly rhythm games out there. Don't get me wrong, it's one of my favorite rhythm games, and it's one of the most brutal games in terms of difficulty ceiling, but aesthetically, it's E for everyone. The drums are smiling, the sticks are smiling, and you probably will be as well if you play for too long. Of course, that doesn't mean everything in the game will be all cheer and joy, so today, in the spirit of Halloween, we're going to be talking about what I think is the darkest song in all of Taiko no Tatsujin. And no, I'm not talking about First Pie, the nightmare fuel that probably wasn't supposed to be seen in the light of day. I'm going to be talking about a completely different song. First, let's talk about song series. Taiko really likes songs that have a common theme in between them. For example, the Rose series. Made up of five songs, each of the five songs are named after a color, as well as having Rose in the title. For example, Black Rose Apostle, Purple Rose Fusion, White Rose Insanity, etc. The song we're going over belongs to the 2000 series. It's one that's been around since the birth of Taiko, is pretty well known for how consistently hard each song gets, and how mysterious the songs tend to be, including playing with Morse code. The common theme between each song is that they each end with 2000, and generally, a new 2000 song gets released every new game version. Including 2000 songs made for April Fools, we have a total of 26 2000 songs. You might be noticing a couple of outliers in the list already. Nessin Amatias is Saitama 2000, the first 2000 song ever, written backwards, and like the title suggests, it's literally just Saitama 2000 played backwards. Yokuderu 15300 is Yokuderu 2000, an earlier entry into the 2000 series played at 7.65 times speed, with 765 being pronounced in Japanese as Namuko, Namco, the people behind Taiko, and it's also 20 seconds long. Then there's this jumble of nonsense. Guess what? It's a song we're going to be talking about today. So first off, let's talk about the title. It's technically unreadable, but you're not reading it the right way. If you try pronouncing it as it's written, you get Manka Imu Ichi no Ju, which doesn't really mean anything. Instead, you combine every two letters like so to get this, otherwise known as Jobutsu 2000. What the hell does that mean? Well, it literally means going to heaven, rest in peace, or dying peacefully. Well, that's pretty ominous. Let's look at the chart itself with some lyrics attached to it. For the sake of the video, I'm going to ignore how difficult the chart is for now and focus on the song itself. Right now, you're probably thinking about how insane the drums are, but let's talk about the numbers 3, 7, 5, 6, and 4, which are said in French repeatedly throughout the song. Remember how 765 can be interpreted as Namco, aka Namco? Well, 37564 can be interpreted in a different way as well. 37564, when read in Japanese, can be read as Mina Goroshi. I wonder what that means. Oh, yes, 37564 means Annihilation, Massacre, and literally kill everyone. Taiko is a kid's game, by the way. That's not even mentioning how we're getting mentions of I'm hungry in two different languages, French and Chinese. Yikes. Let's play the middle of the song once again with lyrics. Thank you. 
That is pretty heavy. Jobutsu 2000 is overall basically about a sad person who's accepted his death, giving up everything and moving on, yet with deep joy and contentment. By the way, just to show how big of a contrast Jobutsu 2000 is to other entries in the 2000 series, let me rattle some of their themes off. Akiben 2000, with Akiben literally translating into Railway Bento, is about a train traveler who couldn't buy lunch at the train station and expresses his frustrations in the form of rap. Tenjiku 2000. While I couldn't really find a proper translation for the title, it's about stressed out Japanese workers who escaped to India. Soroban 2000, my favorite 2000 song by far, literally translates to Abacus 2000, and it's about three people who play the titular arcade game Soroban 2000. I won't get into the details, but two of them end up passing out. So yes, while the 2000 series has been known to have some wacky themes, it's pretty rare not only in the series, but really in the entire game, to see themes of death so explicitly laid out in the song like Jobutsu 2000. Now that I've used up my excuse to talk about the other 2000 songs, let's get back on topic. While the lyrics so far are overall pretty depressing, there's an alternative, slightly more optimistic way to look at them. The end of an era. You see, the 2000 series has been around for a long while, with the first entry Saitama 2000 coming out in 2004. Since then, there have been many, many new songs to enter Taiko with newer songs raising the skill ceiling each time. Jobutsu 2000 can be seen as the splitting point between the first and second half of the 2000 series, the transitioning point from old to new, with later entries like Mada Saitama 2000 or Donkama 2000 becoming some of the highest tier 10 stars the game has to offer. The song ID for Jobutsu 2000 in the game files signifies this as well. Last 2K, the last 2000 song of the first era. But I think I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe. Let's talk about the last section of the song. So while we do repeat 37564 from the first half, there's one more thing. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear some crackling. Let me play that bit again. Set. Set. Six. Quatre. Yep, the crackling of fire, or maybe an incinerator. Or maybe bacon, but probably an incinerator with the whole death theme. One last thing you might notice if you've been looking at the notes is that they'd all made sense. Sure, they're chaotic, but they match up to the chaotic drumming in the background perfectly. That is, up until the end part. This 33 note long burst doesn't really go to any instrument in the song. There aren't any drums in the background that goes to or anything hidden. Instead, it's there to give you one more 37564 before the song ends. In between every blue note or car, there are 3, 7, 5, 6, and 4 red notes respectively. And that's Jobutsu 2000 which I personally think is the darkest song in Taiko to date. Huge props for this video goes to Taiko Time, an English Taiko blog I used to fact check a good chunk of this video. I don't normally do essay type videos like these, so let me know what you think of it. Thank you guys for watching.